Well, good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I'm starting my day off here in Tater Tots, scoping around the uh, Yuma area. It's my last day, my last night, anyway, in uh, Arizona, uh, where we head into California tomorrow. Those of you that uh, have heard me talk about California for years and years and years, 2022 is the year of change for me. Letting all my preconceived notions and bias go out the window and possibly spend a significant amount of time here at the first part of the year in California. Okay? So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I do have to run, but I'm actually on my way uh, back to the courtside area real quick to get my last piece of mail and close out my post office box up there. Say goodbye to everyone and uh, hit the road on for newer adventures. So thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. Let's have some fun today. Okay. Of course, the wind just picked up outside, but we're going to stay in tater tot. I wanted to take a look at this just random structure out in the middle of the desert. Long abandoned. Everything is boarded up on it. And I believe that sign up on the corner, if I'm reading that right, I think it says something about Oasis. And I think I see a palm tree on there. So this may not have been a residential building. This may have actually been some sort of a little gas station or little mini mart of something for whatever reason. Uh, and uh, you may also notice that I have finally given up on growing the beard out. Yeah, we're back to my my normal uh, trimmed up, cut in look for for my beard. I just know what works for me. I try. I didn't even make it sixty days this time. I I'm just gonna stop even bringing that up. Okay. All right. Well, update here on my Jack's tattoo on my leg. I did finally take off the uh, vinyl cover that was on it. And um, it's healing nice. It hasn't started scabbing away. Itch is like crazy though. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's it turned out really, really well, and it, it is healing really, really well. Just itches. <laughs> so yeah, let's go pick up the last of my mail there and uh, close out my account and say goodbye to Arizona. Yeah. Oh boy, it is really windy today here. Uh, all of my business in Quartzsite is done now. All of my stuff closed up. Uh, all my friends that I could get a hold of, I said goodbye to. So uh, with that, yeah, just finally made a stop here to the High Jolly Monument here in Quartzsite. Um, High Jolly was, uh, uh, he brought camels to the Southwest, thinking that would be a really good idea to uh, haul freight on uh, camels here in Arizona back in the day. And the, uh, I think this is like Civil War times. So this is where his, his monument lays. Uh, after he brought camels over, he uh, tried mining and a few other things in the area. And uh, this is his resting place where his gravesite's at. So had a lot to do with quartzite and uh, camels. By the way, that was a lot of fun, riding a camel while I was here in quartzite. You never know, man. You just... I'm really glad I came to Quartzsite, Arizona this time. I won't do it next year. I will do something different next year, but I'm glad I did. Lots of fun. Um, what should we do? I want to eat here in town. I wonder if they're still doing that massive tater tot, cheesy, not tachos. Remember tachos? I'm going to go see. Well, guess what? Gringo's is still open here, and they're still doing their tachos. All right, guys, now you know what I'm talking about, tachos. There's cheese there. There's cheese on top of them. There's meat with the tater tots. It is ridiculous. All right, got my sombrero hat on now, so now I can officially dig in. Here we go. It was awesome. What? I'm gonna miss tachos when I leave here. Oh, 
That's that uh, mild sauce uh, cleared up my uh, nasals. A little spicy there. That's good food, man. Uh, they're going to be in Billings this summer, actually. They're going to be on the East Coast as well, but they're going to have a truck up in Billings, Montana. More on that later. It's, it's possible I could find myself in Montana this summer. But yeah, as Quartzsite and the Big Tent kind of wind down here and people start to pack things up, this town will go back to normal, at least, traffic-wise and everything. All right, we'll go head back down to Yuma, Arizona, where the RV's at right now. Uh, maybe check a few more spots in California for boondocking while I got the car, because it's easy to make a U-turn if it doesn't work, you know, type of thing. About an hour and 10 minute drive uh, back down to see those kitties. Well, I came up here to Senator's Wash Imperial Dam in California, and everything is booked. I mean, every single site is taken. Uh, did see some friends at the start of it over there, but there is nowhere to camp over here right now on the California side. It looks like everyone who left Quartzsite has now dipped into the California side of BLM land, so uh, there's this really steep incline right here where you obviously can't camp. I just parked over to look at it. So we are gonna officially start our trek over into California then. All right, well, we'll go back to where the RV is parked and start putting things together, I guess. I'll see Senators Wash uh, another time. Do you see how Opie is giving me a hug? Are you giving Dad a hug? Opie, you are melting my heart, you little monster, and you're purring. Oh my gosh. Are you done? You done? You totally done? Oh, you want more? Okay, Opie. You gotta give your sister a hug, though. Hey. Hey. Gotta give your sister some lovin's. Yeah. Tara, Opie gave Daddy a big hug. It was really cute. You should have seen it. What do you think, Tara? Man, I'm not an Opie. I'm a Tara. That's right. That's right. Got some treats for you guys. Wanna see? Let's go see. Come on, let's go see. That's right. There's no more freebies in life. You have to fight for your treats. I put them in this kitty Kong. They're in there. Smell them. If you really want treats, you have to fight for them. No, I'm not gonna help. You gotta figure out your own kitties. Good luck. And I'll bite you, Dad. That's really mean, Dad. Making me work for my treats and stuff. Well, you've been keeping me up at night, Opie. You need a little bit of help. I need a little bit of help sleeping. So you're going to work while I edit, okay? Hey. Good boy. That was pretty good. Tara, you, you going to help? There you go. Use yeah. Use use your fear. Did you get another one? Maybe it's too easy. Do I need to get bigger treats? I might need to get bigger treats. Yeah, they might fall out of that one too easy. Oh well, I'll get five minutes apiece. Right, Tara? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's too easy. Dang it. <laughs> All right, hey, good morning, everyone. It is the next day out here, and gonna be leaving Yuma as planned. I really wanna put some miles on and get about an hour into California today. So to do that, we are gonna take Interstate 8 for a bit here, and I am going to miss Yuma, but get a load of these temperatures. These are the next seven days here in Yuma. And, uh, oh boy, for uh, February, that's pretty dandy. That's pretty harm. And it is actually going to be similar in Southern California. So, put on some miles. I'll get back to you once we get moving on into California. All right, and off to our right, the blue sign. Welcome to California. Feeling a little bit of anxiety. Um, <laughs> I did fill up for gas at the pilot in Arizona. Uh, 3.54 a gallon there. So we've got 
500 and about 510 miles of Yuma or Arizona gas to start into California and then we're going to be struggling to find gas in California under five dollars. I don't think we're going to find it. Uh, gas prices rocket up. That's one of the things that I'm a little nervous about. Okay, you sped up as soon as I tried to pass you. That was cute. Uh, but, but, okay, as, as crazy as I'm dreading this, I also, I'm almost sure that the next two months in California are going to be some of the best two months of my life. I'm feeling really, really confident, as well as having a lot of anxiety about this, okay? Because a lot of RVers are not going to voluntarily choose to go RV and explore in California right now. <laughs> so, here you go, guys. So I'm going to take you with me, and we're going to have fun either way. Also, Opie's been being such a good boy. Uh, we needed to get some cat food, so I brought Opie to PetSmart in his buggy, and he loved it. We got to go see the birds. Opie hasn't learned to cackle yet, like cats do when they see birds, but he was sure staring at those birds, and then I took him down the toy aisle, let him pick up some toys in person, and so he picked out his toy and Tara's toy, and uh, that was a lot of fun. I'm really trying to get Opie socialized more so that he's not a scaredy cat, so that he's good with people and strangers and loud noises and stuff, so things are going really well. <laughs> Kitty count! Opie, Tara, I need to see you. All right, didn't lose any kitties. Good grief, Eric. Are you serious right now? Are you actually serious right now, Eric? Yes, I'm serious. That was weird. I should, I should learn from camper van Kevin, you always lock the side door. He had his steps ruined because they, the steps automatically go out when the door opens, so. Ooh, bumpy. sorry, tater tot. Well. We're here. We're to a place I've been before. This is as far west as I've ever been on Interstate 8. This is the uh, Holtville Hot Springs area, which has uh, boondocking LTDA. So this will be the last night I use my long-term visitors area sticker pass for the season, which has been awesome. Um, look how empty this place is, guys. There's no RVs out here in the front. There's a couple way back there, but holy cow. Yeah, let me go find a spot. I ain't gonna have any trouble having my privacy out here tonight. That's awesome. <laughs> Open up some vents here. I had uh, stopped back there because I was gonna try to uh, pop, get some drone shots, pop the drone up in the air, but as soon as I calibrated and everything, it said that there was an airport nearby, I couldn't even take off. So that's one of the cool things about DJI. It's hard to get in trouble because it's literally not gonna let you fly. It's As long as you have service and it's connected to all the maps and airports and restrictions, you're not gonna be able to get in trouble. So I wasn't able to get the drone shot, but I was not focused enough about closing the door all the way. That's kind of scary. But, yeah, oh my gosh, sunshine. Um, Opie, I'm going to close this and get some air in here. We will now keep this closed all the time since Opie knows how to escape. Smart little bugger. Probably not even going to use the hot springs this particular time. Uh, I, just, I just need a safe spot to uh, park overnight. And um, before we move on from this spot, though, I really need to point something out how grateful I am for the sunshine, uh, the, the, the dry weather. This, this past year and this summer of just non-stop rain every single day, everywhere I went, drove me a little bit mad. <laughs> As you probably remember on this channel, 2021 was an incredibly historic wet year for me. And what Arizona has provided these last three months, you could not put a price on it. Now, I, I know the desert is boring, the desert's ugly, it's dirty, it's sandy, but after what I went through last year, I am forever grateful that 
in the last two and a half months, it has only rained lightly twice on Christmas Eve and the very first day of the RTR. <laughs> uh, other than that, having this kind of sunshine and, and weather in the 80s and no rain, it has reset my soul. It's exactly what I needed. And that's another reason why I'm really looking forward to the next two months in California is that uh, I can expect temperatures to keep getting warmer and more and more sunshine and a lot less rain than I had last year. So I want to be clear about pointing out how thankful I am and happy I am and how amazing it has been to live my life without rain every single day. Anyway, I need, I need a beer. And it looks like my kitties want to stretch their paws, Tara. Where are you going? You want to stretch your cat paws? Opie wants to stretch his paws too. You working on your meow still, Opie? Yeah, you got to work on that a little more, buddy. So, people have been noticing that I switched up Bud Light. Maybe it's one of the good things uh, to come out of spending all that time in courtside with other people. A lot of people who used to drink Bud Light, in fact. Uh, old friends, new friends, and everybody drinks Bush Light. And I'm like, well, I have been working for a while to get that Bud Light sponsorship. I don't think it's going to uh, work out. Uh, so I, I tried Bush Light out there, and um, it tastes exactly like Bud Light to me. Except it's more than half the calories of a Bud Light. Sorry carbs. It's got a, less calories, but more than half the carbs of Bud Light. So I feel like it's, it's better. Um, also it, I don't know. It's, it's, it's cheaper. It's significantly cheaper than Bud Light and it's made by the same company, Anheuser-Busch. Bush Light is uh, Kevin Harvick's main sponsor this year for the 2022 NASCAR, uh, number four Bush Light. Um, so Cheers, guys. That is one delicious beverage. Opie Double Dope, please. What are you doing on the counter where you don't belong? Tara Bobera, what do you see outside? You want to get into some troubles? Yeah, well, you and your brother always get into trouble, don't you? Yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to cut this video off here in this part of California. And then in a couple days here, we're just going to continue on. Uh, remember, all of this is new territory for me. I've never been to San Diego in, in my life. And so as we follow eight south with a couple detours along the way uh, we are eventually going to hit the pacific ocean in san diego which i'm really excited about but a lot of new territory here we're going to be hugging the uh, mexico uh, country line the, the the border there so we're going to have more border patrols and all that crazy stuff um but i do have enough gas to get all the way to san diego i don't have to really worry about getting gas again until we're closer to like Los Angeles, Anaheim. I mean, I'm not stopping in Anaheim for anything. <laughs> Opie and Tara and I will see you in a while, guys. Please consider giving me a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment and tell me, tell me how big you think Opie is going to get. How many pounds in two years, how big is Opie gonna get? Let me know in the comments. See you next time, guys, bye-bye. <laughs>